Welcome to Module 7, Lesson 4. Let's get started. Today, we'll be learning how to compare and classify quadrilaterals. We are learning this so that we can understand the attributes of different shapes. We will know that we're successful when we can analyze the attributes of given shapes. Let's look at and discuss some polygons. So, what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed shape with no gaps or overlaps between the straight sides. These are polygons. The point where the sides meet at a corner is called an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. This polygon has square corners. A square corner is called a right angle. Let's look at and discuss some quadrilaterals. Do you know what a quadrilateral is? A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Which of these polygons are quadrilaterals? Answer, they are all quadrilaterals because each polygon has four sides. Let's look at and discuss some trapezoids. What is a trapezoid? Well, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has at least one set of parallel lines. Imagine these lines going on forever. Which lines will cross? Which of these polygons are trapezoids? Answer, all except A, D, and K are trapezoids. Remember, a trapezoid has at least one set of parallel lines. Let's look at and discuss some parallelograms. Do you know what a parallelogram is? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has two sets of parallel lines. Remember that parallel lines will never cross. Which of these polygons are parallelograms? Answer, the parallelograms are B, C, F, G, H, I, and L. Which of these polygons have four right angles? Answer, B, C, F, and H. Which of these polygons are squares?
Answer, C and F are squares because they have four equal sides and four right angles. Attributes of a shape. If you were to describe a shape, you might describe its sides as equal or not equal, parallel or not parallel. Another attribute of a shape is its angles. The angles can be right angles or not right angles. Now it's time for a read, draw, write question. List as many attributes as you can to describe the polygon. You can pause the video here. Do your very best work and when you're ready, you can look in the description box below to see one answer to the question. I'll see you in the next lesson.